Have you ever found yourself scrolling through a Discord channel or your favorite Instagram account's content, seeing countless screenshots of Minecraft, all with perfect composition, lighting, and editing, and thought to yourself, wow, how could I take screenshots like that? Yeah, me neither. Regardless of that, in today's video, I'll mount my high horse, Janet, and pass the delicate art of screenshotting onto you. Cue the intro, Bob. Getting a proper screenshot, well, it ain't exactly a cakewalk. If you want to get stunning shots of our server, you'll have to download a fair number of mods, install fabric, and only then can we worry about things like composition and lighting. For now, I'm going to cover how to get your mods set up, get the screenshot, and find it in your endless supply of computer folders. To begin, if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you want to know how to take a Minecraft screenshot. So I'll just tell you straight up, once in game, just hit your F2 key. Wait, what's going on? No, 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 it's not over yet, no, no. There's more to it than that. Taking screenshots is an art. You can't just take a screenshot without shaders and call it a day. No, you want yourself a shader, a nice shader to take your screenshots with. Basically, they add a lot of cool things like reflections on water, some wind simulation on foliage, a beautiful sky, sometimes a beautiful sky, and most importantly, revamped lighting. We'll get into the nitty gritty of why lighting especially is important for screenshotting in part two, but for now, know that shaders are great for getting epic screenshots of your build. Or if you're as amazing a builder as I am, <gasps> Ma, Ma, look what I made! You can simplify the process by getting shots of things other people have built. Saves a lot of time. Personally, I found this server, the Minecraft Middle Earth server, to be just the best place to get screenshots from. There's always some new angle or photography technique to try at any of the hundreds of locations. The IP for the server should be on the right side of your screen. Uh, oh. Like I said, the IP for the server should be on the left side of your screen. So, now you know you need shaders, but where does one find such amazing things? Typically, one need look no further than places like Modernth and CurseForge for all one's shader desires. You'll also find some shaders on GitHub and Others have their own dedicated websites. Though, those will sometimes have predatory ads and unwanted downloads to watch out for, so I'd personally just stick to the former three options to be safe. Perhaps you're a bit indecisive and can't pick a shader to use. Hey, no worries, because I love telling people what to do. For beginners just getting started with shaders, it's hard to go wrong with shaders like Complementary and Photon for their ease of use and general compatibility. If you're looking for a less demanding shader, Check out Dr. Destin's Minecraft Shader and make up ultra fast. If you're rather shader savvy like me, one, it's always nice to meet a fellow man of culture, and two, you're looking for more advanced shaders like Bliss and Kappa. I personally stick to Bliss shaders, but the choice is ultimately up to you. So you have your shaders downloaded, but now what? Well, we've got to put them in your .minecraft folder now. There are many tutorials online for how to find this elusive folder, but for today, we're going to stick with showing you how to access it on Windows. Hit your Windows and R keys together and you'll pull up this window, which should be on screen, yep. Then you just type in uh, percent app data, no, no spaces, and uh, no, ca no capital letters. That's important. And, um, oh, the percent, we're, we're using the uh, symbol of percent, not not, not the, um, the, the word. You know what, just type what's on screen. That should take you to these folders. .minecraft is the one we want, and it's at the top, so just click that and profit. So from here, drag your shader files into the shader packs folder of your .minecraft folder. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about getting your shader packs folder set up. I'm, I'm gonna need another mug of coffee for this video. Alright, so although you can use either the Optifine mod or the Iris and Sodium mods to get access to the Shader Packs folder, MCME's resource packs only support Sodium and Iris. If you hop on our server and use the command slash helper shaders, you'll be taken to our guide for using Sodium, which includes this link to our mod loader. Once you've downloaded the mod loader, open the file and select the MCME install option. 
This will install these eight mods to a folder in the .minecraft folder called Iris Reserved. We can't guarantee the compatibility of any additional mods you put in there, though. Oh, uh, leaves on the server will probably be invisible at this point, so go ahead and do slash RP client sodium to get them to show up. Otherwise, the Shire will look like Sauron took over or something. So now, all we need to do is find something worth taking a screenshot of. Luckily for you, on the MCME server, this is like bobbing for water. You can't miss. We have landmarks like you've never seen. Stunning builds towering high above the clouds, forests creeping along the terrain tailored by masters of their craft, mountains so epic my laptop is sweating bullets at the sight. Truly, no matter where one looks, everything is as photogenic as can. A perfection. Now that we have found something worth taking a screenshot of, let's go ahead and lower our FOV to help get the composition right. 30 FOV and lower is generally a good field of view to use, but you know, I've seen instances where you can go as high as 50 or... Right, checklist time. We have our shaders, check. FOV is lowered, yeah, check. We have something to screenshot, yep, check Roo. <laughs> Make sure you're using the right texture pack for the area. Oh yeah, seems legit. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to take the screenshot. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to take the screenshot. As mentioned before, just hit your F2 key and... Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's, that's a good feeling, that's a good feeling. Don't stop there though, get a couple of them to choose from. As a general rule, remember that things on screen look better in game than they do in a screenshot. We'll use the same technique mentioned earlier to help find our screenshots folder in our .minecraft folder. It's here that we can see all the shots we've taken. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Those are the very basics of the art of screenshotting. Be sure to tune in next time when I'll get to teach you the basics of composition, lighting, and editing to really take your screenshots to the next level. For now though, this has been Ginger, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya! Thanks for watching this video, I spent a lot of time on it. Stay tuned for bloopers at the end, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and check out the server. I'd love to get to know y'all. Have a good one. No, you want yourself a shader, a nice shader to put you, to put... <coughs> Why am I doing this with the cold? You'll also find some shaders on GitHub, some shaders, some... It's hard to go wrong with shaders like complimentary... <laughs> if you're rather shader savvy like me, one, it's always nice to feed a melt to feed a me <laughs> I love my life, I swear. We're going to stick with showing you how to access it on Windows. On how to access it with that. Right, so although you can use either the Optifine mod or the Iris and Sodium mods to get access to the... Uh, that was poorly done. Can we do that again? <laughs> now that we have some... Now that we have found something worth taking... Oh, uh, leaves on the server will probably be invisible. Luckily for you, on the MCME server... Be sure to tune in next time when I'll get to teach you the basics. <laughs>